what is up guys welcome back to another video and in some of today's video we are going to be making another map tutorial guide this time for gem grab and yeah so last time i did it for brawl ball simply because like it's the most played game mode and one of the most easiest like game modes to make maps where you don't really have to respect tons of rules but for gem grab it's even easier because um gem grab fits like more variety of brawlers than brawl ball does because brawl ball has a certain defined meta and gem grab just can fit for any brawler um not so yeah some brawlers are more advantaged in brawl ball than others so that's why i just made brawl ball first but gem grab is the easiest um game mode to make maps for the space is small so you can just organize your space really well so we're just going to make this map really quick so we're just going to name it gem grab one. Oh yeah we are going to choose the mine theme because like um a lot of the maps are just played in the mine theme and I believe that like um it's the one that like most people are most comfortable with so yeah we are going to do that and first of all um last time I didn't have like voiceover but this time I will um so you have like a few um mirroring tips so first of all you can have single you can just do this okay these fences look ugly but i'm just going to like make these walls so here it's simple mirror horizontal you can just like um here say um you can just mirror on one side and we'll just go on the other um effective for like making um game mode maps let's say um mirror vertical um some maps do you have this type of mirroring examples are like triple dribble and um diamond dust oh yeah diamond dust isn't such a great map but triple dribble is and it has vertical mirroring and mirror both it's basically like four-way mirroring i do not recommend you use this um type of mirroring because it makes your map look really boring and um yeah those are kind of like of the mirrorings that i'd say but we don't have diagonal mirroring yet which is like um what i make my maps based off of so yeah, we're just going to like use single mode and we're going to replicate the map after so um just a few tips don't um just do kind of like th these lanes um you want to have lanes in gem grab but do not just make them very defined because it's like really hard to move around and gem grab it's basically like a team fight game so you want to win your matchup and then help um other people win their matchups as well after you win yours so yeah that's kind of like um gem grab in a nutshell let's say and after you just want to like sit in your spawn and yeah basically that's it so you clearly do not want to have like defined um lanes in gem grab i mean you must have defined lanes but you just don't have to like make them that clear you don't need to it's unnecessary and the best advice that i can give you is just to like have all of the action like make all of the action um based around the center so you want to have defined lanes you can use um this as like a good start like i don't have any ideas right now but i'm just trying to come up with some ones so we have like a few here we are just going to like use these as some um, references for later on and yeah so maybe you can like do this type of block because like it's not really long and you can peek out through it and you can just like change lanes really easily so i plan to make the center lane like really wide because like the gem carrier just needs a lot of space to roam around um freely and that just gives him like a lot of um room and he doesn't want to be trapped either because otherwise um the gems it won't be like really good to stay in Another thing that you do not want to do in gem grab is basically um, have water in the mid lane. It's just, it just like ma it makes people um, get in the mid lane. Like it makes it really hard on um, maps. Like excellent escapade and um, stock crash have these types of mid. I do not recommend them. Um, they're just like really. Um, not boring but they're just like really dangerous to walk into especially as a gem carry you can lose off your gems just by walking in the mid and 
maybe someone can surprise you this is not um the type of game that um you want others to play on um so with that out the way you just want to have like pretty much the main tips is like have defined lanes but don't make them too clear so you could have like lanes such as um these i'd like to have a mushroom over here and i could have some poking areas or like sniper areas so you can do here um i don't like mushrooms facing that side so we're just going to make the mushroom face the other side to make it a bit more clean we're not going to extend the bushes like this and yeah um this like basically a simple map that i just made it's not the best but it just shows um like the few um what you could make out of a few so we're just going to like see how um big the distance is so it's three tiles i want to make like this structure over here i don't want to use this i just want to measure like how um how big it is so three tiles from here and then we can just like insert the other structure here and we can just remove these ones so that's a really easy way to make your map and after that um you also want to have this you know you don't really need to have a, a grass in like every single tile but um, moving on um you also want to have something like near the lanes you want to make the lanes like a bit more intriguing and for the lanes don't do not give like one lane an advantage by placing like a wall like this and let the other lane have none because otherwise um it just won't create any fair matchups and that would be like just <laughs> really boring but it could work you just have to like perform it really well for it to like work properly and we don't really want to have this block over here so um we're just going to like stick off that idea we're just maybe going to like make this block over here so it's like one block on top of that yeah it is um just to make sure you can just like have one diagonal block on top of that um it's a good way of like um practicing your um tools let's say and um, you could just do like this to verify if it's actually correctly diagonally mirrored. So if you replicate the same thing on all of the sides, um, it is correctly mirrored. And I don't believe that we need like much block variety here since like it's not really a big deal. Um, you may, I may want to add some grass over here, although um, it's not really that necessary. Um, I could, but I mean, I don't think it's like going to work out as planned, so we're just going to like make it a test. Um, okay, so I want to add some <laughs> blocks right here, so yeah. Also, um, when I just like design my maps, I like to have like some dec decoration blocks, um, not many blocks to like fill in, um, the game but just like as a filler so you could have these blocks they don't really contribute that much but they're just like they make the map a bit more nice looking you could have these blocks but don't fill the map with like don't spam the map with like a lot of dec decorative blocks or else like it's not going to work out i may just like extend this one by one tile and this one also by one tile um do this and then i'm just going to like remove that and good so yeah this video is taking a bit longer than planned but that's because i'm like just doing voiceover and that's my main excuse but all right and you could have um so oh yeah for the back side you could have just like a few bushes and a few walls to complement where you're hiding so I could use barrels for these and I could use bushes or you can use no bushes and let your bar just like try to roam around right here it makes comebacks a bit more easy but um it makes longer matches which is like not very efficient for trophy pushing so you gotta take that in mind and um, that's pretty much a good portion of what I want to say and um, you shouldn't like use um, 
these um blocks so um stone blocks or mushrooms because they don't look as nice in the back side what i could do is oh yeah you shouldn't use fences either in the back side because they just look really ugly what you should use that you could do um use crates or um barrels so and a variation of that is um here um i could replace these barrels with um crates or boxes whatever you like to call them and i just like to do this for like just experimenting which version is better i like the um all barrels better so we're just going to go with that all right um what you want to do next is that you want to have like a good um defined passing to the lane so you don't want like um this let's say because people will just like walk over here and um they will just all stray over here no one's gonna come near here and decide that is not what you want to do um what you want to do though is you could have a bit of like a few walls to block it all off but um even then it isn't really that necessary either so the best um thing that you could use like you could use on um, this but even then um it just doesn't look in place so i prefer um moving up so you could have like this as a section so you could have some grass over here to hide as a second hiding spot um and you can also use this as like a sniper shootout spot so yeah um it's a win-win so and also it looks pretty nice too looks neat and um complements the gameplay quite well in my eyes so we're just going to like do this side first and then we're going to replicate everything so for the other corner you basically want to do the same thing except that you don't don't want just to like have the same um blocks because otherwise that'd be pretty pretty boring so try to add some slight variation so here i just added a few um um crates instead of um instead of barrels excuse me and i'm just going to add a bit more bushes here and yeah so that is a map making um walk through here and um i could use fences as well here but they don't look like that organized so i may um experiment with these a little more so yeah um i yeah i may use fences right here to um help me protect but they don't serve any use they they're just here for aesthetics really um you don't want to fill your map completely with aesthetics otherwise it's just going to like be um really um awful it's not going to play as well as you think it would be and that is pretty much a good balanced map in my eyes we could add um more two more blocks right here um it won't change gameplay much but otherwise um if you add them if you don't add them it, the gameplay is just gonna be the same that um the person who wants to shoot right here just needs to like curve his angle a bit more um but that's pretty much it um oh my <laughs> i just planted a lot of mushrooms so we're just going to like mirror the other side it's going to take um a bit more time so we're not going to do like the mirror on this side so yeah pretty much this side looks really done we just have to mirror everything on that side diagonally mirror and then we're going to play test it with some ball pretty much the map has been saved right now and um okay so oh yeah um we forgot to like delete these ones so we're just going to delete this and yeah the map is pretty much um complete we just have to like okay we got some notifications we're just going to save everything so we're going to save that and then we're going to play test we're not going to play test merge for it we're going to play test um gem grab one and yeah so the bushes are yellow here it's actually like a code issue i think the bushes are supposed to be turquoise but anyways here's some tips for play testing you want to place that with different types of brawlers um fighter you want to play that with tanks shooters or just mid-range brawlers um, maybe jink as well so 
A, you want to playtest with different types of brawlers. B, you want to playtest with the best brawlers for that game mode. So examples of that would be Jean, Terra, Amber. Sadly, I don't have Amber. Um, unfortunate right there. And also, um, Spike, I guess, as well. And, um, you also want to playtest with aggro brawlers, support brawlers, and gem carriers. Um, um, lanes guide, you know. And, yeah. So... Um, we're going just to like playtest that and yeah So first of all, we're going to playtest with Mortis and Just trying to see if um, the gameplay is actually right. So um, I set like a bit of um The spot right here to be like a sniper spot this one as well But it's like if you have more control and oh, yeah, we got a dying mark on the other team um feels right but i don't really know it just feels like a balanced map nothing too special i mean that's um if you are like a beginner of, at making maps this is like okay <laughs> this is the objective you want to achieve it's to make a balanced map that just like doesn't really stand out but um you want to make it playable at least so that um it's actually enjoyable and if you know like the basics of map making then you can just like improve and make like better maps um maps that stand out and it's pretty much it and yeah um just to um shorten the version i'm not going to play test with every single one of my brawlers if you do you find some changes that um you want to um fix your map for example this bush doesn't look that great so we're just going to like widen it by one tile make it look more static as well um but yeah guys hopefully i explained like everything you need to know um for map making and gem grab um next week i'll try or like in a few days i'd say i'll try to um make a map guide for showdown however i won't make a showdown map in front of your eyes because that was just take a lot of time and okay this show the map kind of sucks but um yeah i'm just going to like explain some good tips on how to make a showdown map i'm not going to make a map in front of your eyes because it takes too long and you need to have a pre-planned idea to make it for it and most of these maps i just make from scratch i have no ideas planned and yeah um that's it for the video guys i hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you later peace out